Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe. Quick one for you today. This little dongle should be of particular interest to Steam Deck owners because it provides a functionality that a lot of people are looking for. That is the ability to plug in some sort of an external storage device or maybe even a mouse or keyboard as well as provide full power charging to the deck without using a hub or strapping anything to the back of the deck. And this definitely, this little guy looks like it will fit the role, but will it do the job? Let's find out together. All right, so if we take a look at this on top of the Steam Deck, it's pretty nice. It doesn't actually block the vents, although as soon as you plug something in, it would, but there's still quite a bit of clearance here. If you did it the other way, which should also work, uh, the power button is going to be blocked. So you get to choose which you would prefer to block a little bit. I'm gonna go this way so that I can get to the power button. And of course, you'll plug your power into the top and your USB device, whatever that might be here. Now you can see I'm blocking my vents quite a bit with this, but most people won't be using such an interesting contraption like this guy. If we take a look at my external drive here, we're gonna be able to get some specs off of here to see just how well this works. Now, because the power is plugged into the dongle, the Steam Deck can be off while still powering this. There could be some cool uses for that. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up. And once we do, this drive should connect and we'll get some sort of ideas as to what we're talking about. All right, so it is definitely showing up as USB 3.1 with a max of 10 gig gigabits per second, which this cable is rated for and this adapter is rated for. So that's great. We probably won't be looking at this much longer. All right, so the real question we have here is, what's the speed like? What are we talking about speed-wise here? We're gonna use a nifty little tool called Disk Mark. Technically K Disk Mark. We'll install it. Haven't done it on this machine yet. We'll launch. Okay, so now we have the drives we can select. And if we go down to Oh, we probably have, it hasn't probably been mounted yet, right? So we have to go mount that sucker. Yep, mount and open. There we go. All right, so now that it's mounted, let's refresh our drive list and check it out. And there she is. Let's go ahead and hook it up and perform our tests and let's see what our speed results look like. And there are our final results. Looks pretty good. All right, for our next test, we're gonna check the power pass-through of this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in. We're at 89%, so I will use the USB power stick power meter. We'll plug it in, and we're gonna see exactly how much wattage this thing is drawing. And you can see that we have to charge and pass through to a pretty good gain. 45 is kind of what we're looking for. So 44.3 is a really, really good number. Now we'll pass the same through using the dongle. We'll see how much power it sucks down in between. So what we're seeing is exactly the same. Wow, this is great. We're not, we're not dropping off any power across this unit. It's all getting in there. We do have a high-speed USB-A port and we have a full power pass through I'd say this is the real deal. This is the real McCoy. If you're looking for something to give you some sort of a split scenario where you can charge and use a USB device, like a storage device at the same time, this is the real deal. And of course, I'll have a link down in the description below. Uh, we use Amazon affiliate links, so everything you buy through there, no extra cost to you, but really helps out the channel. I hope you enjoy it. This is Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.